That looks absolutely amazing. Today, I'm quickly going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to make these kind of designs. Now, I use this using a text prompt in ChatGPT, created the image, then sent it over to Inkscape to create the design, which I cut out on my laser. So this is cut out in two parts. We got the back part, which is the white, and then the secondary part, which is the actual black design itself. And I just glued it on. I'll show you later on the video how I put it all together. Very simple to do. There's a couple of things you do need to do to make sure you get everything aligned. So make sure you do stick around to check that out. So don't forget to like the video. And if you're not already, subscribe. So today's video sponsor is Munbin and they've sent me one of their thermal label printers. And just to show you how much easier these things can make our lives, especially for makers and creators that sell things online. So the Munbin thermal printer has a Bluetooth connectivity. So you can send all your sticker designs and your shipping labels directly to the printer just using your mobile phone. So once we've got the printer turned on and connected, we can open up the app. If you're not connected, if it's the first time turned on, you just click in the top left here and just search the device. It should find it via Bluetooth and then just connect to it straight away. So in the app, you've got lots of different options here. On your front screen, you've got ones you've saved. You can import ones and you can have a look at your print history. And you've got templates here. So within the templates, there are well over 1,000 different templates to choose from. So on the left-hand side here, you can filter them to lots and lots of different categories and you can go through each individual one. And a majority of them are easily customizable. So let's create our own by pressing the Create button at the bottom. And you can see that it has automatically selected a size for the labels. Now that is the actual size for the labels I've already got loaded within the printer. The Munbin printer will automatically select the correct size for the labels you've got loaded in. So you shouldn't have any problem with creating the wrong size labels. So we've got that selected. We'll go into new label and let's have a look at creating a QR code. So that's created in there, that is automatically centered. But what I'm gonna do is change the content. So I'm gonna put my YouTube link in there. We're gonna go www.youtube.com forward slash mark am. It's already centered. I'm gonna to wanna to add some text. Let's put that up here and say, uh, follow me on YouTube. There's lots and lots of different things you can do with this. You can literally edit any type of label you can think of. So that little line's popped up there to say they're centered. That is centered. And let's just pop a couple of icons in there. Let's chuck some stars. Okay, follow me on YouTube with my QR code. So I'm happy with that. Let's just show you a preview for the print. I'm happy. So let's have a look back at the printer. And let's press the print button. It literally took, what, a second? Not even a second to print out. It is instant. So the labels have come out really nice. Let's have a look if the phone actually recognizes it. It's taking me to YouTube. And it's taking me to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to check out today's sponsor, guys, Munbin. I will put a link down in the description. If you want to save all the hassle of trying to print labels off, definitely check these out these machines are absolutely amazing so check the link down in the description and i will give you a promotion code for up to 10 percent off so before we get into cutting it and gluing it all together we do need to do the design first so we're going to go to the computer to chat gpt and i'm going to show you exactly how i did this myself so you can see inside chat gpt now these are the images that i've created so to start off chat gtp can create images from scratch but another thing ChatGPT does do is imitate the style of other images really, really well. So I'm going to start off and create a brand new chat. So we are going to need to find like a similar style of image that we're going to want to imitate in to get this result. We can just upload a photo you want to use and ask it to do it. But I have found if you get the type of image you do want to imitate and copy, literally copy and pasting it into ChatGPT works wonders. So how I did it was I found this image online of Messi, I believe that is, and I wanted to create my own very similar style to that of an image of myself. So I found that on Google, I copied it and pasted it into ChatGPT, which you can see I've done here. Now, if you want to skip the part of trying to find it online, I will put a link down in the description where you can use this type of image and you can just copy the style of that. But alternatively, you can do what I did and just look on Google for the type of style you want. So I've copy and pasted that image in there. So that's already in ChatGPT. Now I'm gonna to wanna to load my photo. 
So with that loaded, this isn't actually a photo of me. This is a different type of image I have generated based on a photo of myself. But I'm just gonna ask chat GPT in the type prompt to say, convert this image to the style of the other and just press enter. So then we'll just give chat GPT now a couple of minutes to look at the images and see what it spits out on the other end. So that's come out really well, but when doing these images, you do want to try and avoid these little parts under here, even though there's no problem with them whatsoever. It's just, you do want to try and avoid all the smallest bits possible, especially like in the hat and stuff up there. Cause when you're putting it all together, you can sometimes run into issues where you put it in the wrong place or you could lose it. Um, so you do want to try and avoid that. So let's go into chat GPT and just say simplify. Again, we'll give that a couple of minutes then to process that. It should give out a very similar image, but simplified just like what we've done on here. So as you can see, there's not many little lines in there. The hat's got that tiny cut out there. Over this side, we've got the small cut out there and around the front of the hat. And again, a little bit within the actual hoodie itself all around there. So that's what we're hoping for now once we've asked it to simplify it. And there we go straight away. It's taken out a lot of them small lines, which could be a pain when using a laser. If you're going to be using these things like print and stuff, that would be absolutely fine. But if you're doing what I've done on laser and engraved it, this would work a little bit better. Again, if you do want a little bit more detail, you can just ask ChatGPT to make it a little bit more detailed. But I'd be happy with that. That is something I would run through the laser. But you'll see that's in a square frame and this in a circular frame. Again, very simple to fix it. You just say change to a circular frame and go. And there we go, absolutely spot on. That's exactly what I wanted. So I can convert this now to a vector ready for laser engraving. So I would just copy it. I'd paste it in Inkscape and trace it. Or alternatively, you can put it directly into Lightburn and then you can just trace it there. So this design style now within this chat window should work with every other photo you upload. So let's upload another photo. So I've just uploaded a photo of a dog. All I'm gonna say is do the same. It's literally that simple. Chat GPT knows what we've already created within this chat window, and it's just gonna apply the same settings to this image. So we'll just let that run and see what results we get from that. And again, there we go. Very, very simple to do. It's taking a look at the image. It knows we've asked for a less detailed styled image, and it's just created it. Alternately, once again, now we can ask it to make it a little bit more detailed. A little more detailed. That has come out amazing. As you can see within the circular frame, it's actually put the ear just on the outside, but obviously it's all going to be still connected within the one whole frame when you cut it out. But that's how easy it is to design these within chat GPT. Like I said, you upload the type of style you want to copy, and then you upload your photo you want in that style and just ask chat GPT to do it. And it'll literally do it. And if the results are not exactly what you wanted, again, ask it to simplify it, maybe make it a bit more detailed, add certain things, remove certain things. It'll do it for you. It is absolutely amazing. I'm just scratching the surface here. There's literally so many things you can do within this. But now I'm happy with my design. I'm just going to show you now how I cut it out on my laser. Once this cuts out, we'll take the individual parts and we'll paint them the colors we want. And then we'll have a look at assembling and then to be a complete project. <music>
So now we've painted these, obviously I've done the front part black and the back part white, just to make it stand out quite a bit more. And we can just start gluing it in place. What I have kept is from the original cutout, because then what we can do is put that in place and then we can use that as a template to guide where these bits need to go. It'll go like that, so then we can glue that down and then I can pull that bit out. So let's start off just by applying some super glue to the outside of the wood. Doesn't need to be loads. And we can flip that and carefully place it in position. Right, so we've got the main bit glued down, so that is stuck in place. Let's start now by putting, let's put this eye in there. So again, we'll put a small bit of glue on the back. Push that in place, hold it for a couple of seconds. And drag. What you don't want to do is put too much glue on it. So it bleeds through onto this bit because then you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to remove the actual bit you're using as a frame. And lastly, let's put a bit of glue on the back of this one. And that is done. That looks absolutely amazing. I am over the moon with that. So this probably took two minutes to get it designed using ChatGPT. It took roughly about 10 minutes, if that, to cut it out. Painting it took me literally two minutes, allowing it to dry, and then gluing it again took a couple of minutes. So you're probably looking at about half hour, worst case scenario, from start to finish to make these. And the best thing is it doesn't have to be a person. I'll show you quite a few I've done already, just testing ChatGPT to see how well they look. But you can see I've done quite a few different ones and the options are literally endless. In materials to make this was probably about four or five pounds. So you could easily sell custom jobs of these you do for other people for you know, 20, 30, maybe even 40 pounds. Again, you could go even bigger and sell them for even more. You can even use different materials, go different colors, completely up to you. But yeah, these are going to be a fantastic little money maker for me. I know for a fact. So definitely like the video, guys. And if you're not already, subscribe because I'm going to be doing quite a few more videos surrounding the type of stuff we can do with ChatGPT. I've done a couple already. So if you haven't seen them, check them out. I'll put them down in the description. But yeah, it's so much fun making stuff like this, guys. I hope you have fun with it. We'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.